and we're back we're back in action mikey dubs here playing some borderlands 2 today we're talking and playing zero i i have gotten a win with zero in rogue lands okay so until until any of you uh have gotten one don't speak to me uh, about um who knows it better so my opinions obviously are the most important and therefore the most right so to me the character feels really really strong um and it's and it's not because i'm <laughs> i'm guaranteed gonna live but the guy does ridiculous damage um and a lot of that comes from just rinsing people with vlad off crits like i just got um, fire rate and melee damage, sure, it's, it's decent enough for now. Turtle shields are decent enough for now. TDR reload chuck. Launcher could be decent. I don't really want TDRs. Override cooldown rate is a useless relic on me. If I don't have a pistol, there's no reason to have a pistol relic if I have another option available. And I'm going to do... I'll take both, but I'll do, I'll keep, I'll do max health for now. All right, so we do have one pistol, but if we get a corrosive damage zone, it's not going to be the most useful. Uh, this Vladov horror show is going to be insanely good for rinsing down tanky targets. And we'll go with purple bandit SMG to bounce things out. Now, for me, Zero, it's if you can rinse the crits, then he's, he's OP, unstoppable. If you cannot, that's when things get a little bit harder. Which one's, what did I just pick up? Max health, a little bit lower than my current? Yeah, I don't want that. Trash. Get that on my, get that on my face. So, a big part of that is in this early game, surviving. Okay? I want to be rewarded for when I do hit crits. So, I'm going to take a little bit of crit damage. I would typically take the... I would typically take the... Reload speed and weapon swap speed one. But I really just want to focus on hitting crits. Now, these are some of the toughest enemies to crit in the entire game, but I recently turned off aim assist. I think that uh, non-aim assist has higher uh, overall potential. But, um, TDR recoil and magazine size is, ooh, that's good, man. It's really good. We'll take cooldown and we'll equip it. I think it's going to be useful. It'll allow me to get some crits going. At least get close enough to maybe crit these guys. Again, I took crit damage so that I would be rewarded when I do hit crits. Not that I think I will be hitting crits all the time. I don't think we mess around here. I think we go right to a launcher. Yeah. We're better than that. That shouldn't have gotten us. A whole bunch of those guys swarmed in all around at one time. Oh, make sure we get that nice chucked on the hall. <laughs> Just in case. Forgot that I had a TDR. Later. Oh, gosh. Here they come. Okay, gone. A couple crits right there. It's not bad. Okay. We'll swap to the Hyperion pistol. Man, it's so hard to see. This weapon, I don't like it that much, but it's okay. Appearance are tough. They're interesting. They are interesting. They're tough, though. Doesn't really make much sense that a weapon that can be accurate sometimes is unaccurate other times. If I, get, I mean, it makes sense within the context of the game, but in real life, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand how a weapon could get more accurate as you fired it more. Doesn't really make sense, like, why a manufacturer would ever nerf its own weapon. Anyways. But... For, okay, I wanted to have a video where I talked about how I feel about the balance of, of zero and honestly If if you can can you get on my face, please. Thank you If if you can line up the headshots, especially with something like like flat off sniper rifles Then you can have a really strong character. The problem comes when it's you can't and a lot of and there's also lots of enemies that cannot be crit now i don't know and i'm not that knowledgeable about overall crit spots in the game so i could be getting crit spots wrong all the time that's why i need to get to board just to ensure heyo that 
I can know make sure that I'm hitting the right crit spots. I know most of these flick for their heads. A long rider isn't going to tempt me, but this is right here. Very nice. Shock damage as well. Citrine Iron. That weapon looks beautiful. Let's take it. We have pistol damage right now. I mean, it is Citrine as well. Bandit Grip. You're gonna want something corrosive at the end of the day. And, and I don't really give uh, Hyperion Snipers a time of day most of the time, but it might be a, this might be a game where I might try. Okay, so let's go into kill scale. Killing enemy increases your critical hit damage and reload speed for a few seconds. And go next. <sighs> I think that this build has potential. I mean, obviously, like these, these games are known entities, right? But for me, it's all about figuring it out on my own. And I would love to go a melee build. And in fact, I have gone a melee build on the channel. But it's probably my least played build of all builds of all characters across the board. Of like, And by builds, I mean, I know there's tons of like random builds. But typically, I think there are three builds for each character. For three skill trees, at least in characters that I think are designed well. Um, or the ones, the ones that I like. I like a very structured one, two, three setup. Where's my uh, horror show? There it is. Uh, maybe I should try this to train some more. This is, I have to aim down sight with it for so long, you know? I feel like I'm really slow. Especially against these lads that are really, really annoying. I see ya. Oh, we need to, to use that for sure. Toss. The rabbit skags are... They are the badasses of Skaghood. There we go. There's a nice bandit launcher. That can be something that carries us into a, a deeper part of this game. Now, let's make sure that we're organized here because I realized that my order was messed up here. I think this apparatus is going to be better than this Jacob's Pistol. We give it a try. Don't like it. I'm gonna put the in the latrine long rider. What makes these enemies tough is the fact that they resist. Oh no, they resist fire. The the, the fossil skags. Come on. Okay, thank you for getting right next to me. Really? Okay, well that's fine. So they resist fire, but not the crits, it seems like. It seems like if you land a crit, it goes right through. Is what I'm experiencing most of the time. So I'm just going to keep using whatever I want against them and aim for the headshot on them. Now, as a zero player, you want things with high accuracy and high fire rate. And this thing has lower than both on both stats for me. But having a slag damage entity would be nice. I don't quite have sl slag and swap capabilities yet. As far as weapon swap speed goes, but I can get it I can get it relatively quickly. Okay. So maybe a little slag and then swap against Barb Skag, that's good practice. I don't really need the slag right here, but I'd like to get it. Oh, I don't want to go too far into this pit. I'm going to decoy. Reposition. Let's grenade at those lads and start trying to land fire damage on this guy. Oh, singularity too. Let's go. Oh, this snuck up on me. Crazy. Okay. Into the shed we go. First, let's get a bandit. I like that better. Now... We take boar and fast hands. I know that one shot, one kill is there, and you guys are probably like, take one shot, one shot, one shot, one kill, one shot, one kill. Listen, you ain't you you ain't know what I know. You ain't do what I do. 
That Vladoff is the first weapon that really catches our eye. I like this Hyperion. I like the idea of it. The horror show has been good, but we're gonna we're gonna try something else. And let's let's try a doll anaconda too. That could be pretty accurate. The sight seems relatively easy to use. Even if it is, I'll be a little clunky. I'm assuming that that is um, the TDR site. <laughs> I had to guess. Our right, one shot, one kill, and headshot seems really, really insane. Especially if we get like a Jacob sniper rifle. But for now, we're going to be rocking the pistol damage one. Okay, some ideas for grenades. Throwing sticky grenade. Lobbed. Fire grenade that splits. Electric grenade. It's, no, I have boar. So honestly, the singularity is going to be the thing that I want most. I can pull them in. Okay, hopefully this is the the big one. Nah, it's not. That's okay. Oh, I need some corrosion damage. Or I can actually just use this. It's fine. It's a decent enough weapon. What you know about Hyperion shotties. These times one Hyperion shotties go absolutely off. This one has a bandit grip, it looks like. Now, what kind of grip do we got on this bad boy? Torg. Torg? It's either, it's either Torg or Hyperion. Honestly, I think that might be... I might be matching grip. It's hard to tell between Torg and Hyperion, honestly. Oh, EXP loader? Go towards the decoy. Thank you. Free kill. And another free kill. Okay. Uh, honestly, the class mod that I want is this one. There we go. So a singularity grenade that's going to mess these guys up pretty bad. And I can decoy and bore. Oh, come on. Reload, brother. Yeah, that's fine. We don't even need to do anything. We can just bore them. Imagine if I got that reload off. Oh, okay, here we go. Get the, uh, get the melees. Eat, get the melees. Here we go. To the left. Come on, give me that boar. Yes, let's go. Zero is literally just all about lining up the trick shots. It's kind of disgusting gameplay. <laughs> no, it's kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What is my grenade? Lob Singularity 2.4. I don't... I really don't think... I really think that a longbow is... Is is the preferred delivery method. I think it's worth taking that 3.6 second fuse time. To make sure that we get the grenade exactly where we want it. And that's just me. We will take points into fast hands here. None of this matters to me in, in the immediate. Kunai is nice. But... I think one shot, one kill... goes hard. So we should be fine. Jacob's magazine size could go insane, insane on a shotgun. Bandit damage could go insane too. Now, what is this max size going to change this Jacob shotgun to? Start to the anaconda for now. If I if I slap on, oh the cool, is it worth changing the cooldown right though? Jacob's magazine size. Let's see. Oh my gosh. You have to try it. What's it, what was this thing's mag size to start? Three? Five Jacob shotgun strikes? I know it's not... I know it's not multiple pellet, but... Hmm. Okay, none of those really call my name. We can go next. If we could get five Jacob shotgun strikes... 
Or maybe even like two on a quad or something. Two hits on a quad goes crazy. All right. Maybe a bit of a waste here, but let's get them all lined up. Okay. Get lined up again. I'm going to take some cover. This is my downtime. Don't fight them while I have downtime. No reason. Okay. Get the boar strikes going. While they're stacked up, I think I'm okay to, to just go for it. Here we go. Can I make sure I just do this right? Oh, wow. He knocked me away. Messed up my ammo. There we go. What did he drop me? A ruby. Not bladed. Not slag. But a ruby. <laughs> Unlucky. That's okay. We take. Now, we are going to shoot some skulls. Because I, I am looking for a much shorter fuse time singularity. I want to be able to make quick movements. So, Let's shoot some skulls up. And farm up the stage as best I can. Farm it up, farm it up. Pistol fire rates. I just I don't put any respect on these survivor class mods. But what if it's exactly what I need right now? I'm gonna I'm gonna equip it. I'm gonna do it. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We are most certainly going to be putting on the reload speed one. Oh, yeah. And let's do more points into one shot, one kill. And we're going to do velocity as well. Velocity is good. I know that it messes up things like the Pimpernel, but if we get the Pimpernel, we can always swap off. Okay, let's see. A longbow slag singularity at 1.4 is an obvious upgrade. It's an obvious upgrade. Amp shields? You know I'm a sucker for an amp shield. What if? What if? What if What if we're done playing going for second place? What if we just want to hit just one tap? I don't know how it's going to happen, but we're going to get there. All right. Let's see. <laughs> immediately, immediately goes to this adaptive shield because it's so much better. Correct. That's a nice track to act in shield, though. Taking it. We're going for defense. G -g defense. <laughs> um. Actually... <laughs> the adaptive shield is going to be better. Maybe not next round, but the adaptive shield will be better long term, I think. Spike shield is fun too. But right now, we're just trying to pull enemies in and blast them down. It's not going to be that possible to bore the spider. Um, I think I might honestly just end up, for maximum DPS purposes, this goes. Do I have. What is my fire damage? Hyperion. Okay. I might just honestly go this Hyperion pistol. That makes use of all the, the synergies in our entire gear set. Where is it at? There it is. This green. I think, honestly, with the extra bonuses that we have, this is going to be our best bet. Um, the Vladov sniper as well can come out here. But we will be switching class mods when we do... Start using that. No kunai. Kind of a waste of one shot, one kill to be using Hyperions, but this could be game changing if this loot is any good. It could change, change the entire course of this fight. Okay, we're gonna take it. Toss something. Don't die, don't die here. He's got an invader. You seem to chill out, chill out. Oh, I have the wrong stuff on. Okay, we're fine. Boss that. Get some get some health back. Hit this chick with a launcher shot. And yeah. 
just stuck into some cover while we think about our gear here. The invader's on. It's a doll, right? No, it's Hyperion. Okay. We're obviously going to go sniper rifle gun damage. Sniper rifle gun damage. And yeah, we go like this. Now, if we're in trouble like this, toss a ruby. No big deal. Or toss the grenade while the ruby's out. Decoy. Light her up. Come on, don't die here. Dang. I'm gonna get in trouble here if I don't start playing better. No way, dude. I cannot believe that we downed ourselves twice right there. She'll spawn somebody. No. F1. We run it back. We run it back. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We didn't... We we were not getting... Listen, we were, we were trying to hype up the run. But the invader, really? We were not getting the absolute creme de la creme of gear. We were getting upgrades, but we were not getting creme de la creme of gear. I'll just start by saying that. It's, I'm not saying that it's my, not my fault. I obviously could have played better there. But. Let's be honest. I think the game kind of screwed us. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Kind of just grabbing everything here. That's a nice shield to start. I'm hoping for nice slag shotgun. Okay, sick. Oh, nice. Legendary Hunter class mod. Why not us? Why not now? I'm sorry to these, but we're going to go Legendary Hunter. It, it showed up in the first. It showed up in the very first spot. And whenever you use Deception. Holy. Whenever you use Deception, I heal. First five points where you know where they're going, don't you? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Boom. Across the board. Our melee strikes will do lots of damage after we get hit. One. They will also do lots of damage when they are low on HP. Good. We also be weapon swapping quickly and extra critical damage. This is everything we could have ever asked for for a start. That last round had to die so this one could live. Swig of water. And we run it back. Okay. Focused up on our crits here because we do get extra damage from crits. I think that this shotgun coming in is going to be a, a big game changer. Absolute game changer for me. Let's go, homies. Me against you. There we go. That crit damage comes into play. They can't hit me because I'm in deception. Nice. These shotguns don't eat a lot of ammo either. They're relatively slow firing. They get pretty accurate towards the end. That's where the damage comes in. And it's like... So it's doing it's gonna give us that times two damage bonus. Go down, bully ma bully rat. Bull bully rat. Okay, decoy out. Something did 99% of my HP in one hit. Was it that guy? Was it just that? That if it was just that, this game is broken beyond belief. Okay, give me 10% of my health back. Yeah, go ahead and throw that before I before I reveal myself. That first shot with Hyperion is tough. Um, melee damage will take. Doll magazine size. I mean, obviously we take. No reason not to. And a nice doll SMG. We have a doll sniper. Is this the doll only run that Cata Cajunator has been asking for? Is it all doll? Is it dolls to the is it dolls to the heavens? Why not us? Look at that mag size. I I could fire this thing forever. <laughs> this is the doll run. Oh my gosh, it actually is a doll run. What the heck? Start the chest. Let it let it carry you up. You wanna have a long distance battle with, against me? Oh come on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You want some work? Hmm? Somebody give me a pitchfork. See ya. Alright, reward me. 
Oh, sorry to the rest of the universe, but we're going to go with that, I think. Well, it's only going to fire four times. Miss me with miss me with times threes. I'm telling you, it's times ones or times twos. For Hyperion shotguns. Eating up all the ammo before the weapon gets accurate doesn't make any sense to me. You get your damage back on the back end. It's like the reverse of a regular... Of a regular character. Most characters, like your weapons, most most damaged, most uh, weapon types, you get less accurate as you, because you get your bolts all over the place, right? Hyperions, they get more accurate as you fire. So you, you actually get your damage at the end. You get reverse recoil. It's kind, it is interesting. I don't know why I'm staring at those for so long. There's no, I'm um, almost no chance I'm gonna be swapping to any of them. See right here, industrial development. You think it'd be really good, and you know what? It might be really good against corrosive damage, weak enemies. But we need something for a little bit more mag size. I don't think Zero has any mag size skills at all. It's just tough. We are gonna go. I think we didn't have Kunai last time. So I think. I think investing into our. Investing into our action skill is going to be good because every time we use it, we get 10% of our health back. So, cooldown relics. Do I have a cooldown relic? I don't know why I'm rocking shield capacity if I have cooldown. No, I don't. And we just stick with these dolls for now. This is, sorry, this, I think we stick with this for now. Okay, I slagged him. I did I did my part. You guys you gotta do your part now. Let's take out this guy. This guy definitely had his out for me. Everyone else seems to be carried away with somebody else. See ya. We go for we go for headshots here. Crouch. Nice try. See ya. Okay, we got a case of the betters. Okay. I have counter strike damage. Let's see how much it does. That's actually pretty good. I've been trying to. I'm, I want to start incorporating that into my damage a little bit. A little bit of counter strike. So you hit me, I hit you, kind of stuff. Hey, you hit me, I hit you. You hit me, I hit you. <laughs> okay, I I could see it. I could see it. Okay, so let's do some more ambush. Some rising shot. We're start. We're gonna start scaling here. Use decoy when we're farming to heal back up. I think we get full health and shields the next stage, though. Just so I'm not blinking around. And I'm against those times four Hyperions. Rather just have this one. Explosive damage could be really good in the right situation. Now the game gives me a Cobra. Now the game gives me a Cobra and I go to the moon. Okay, we've been looking for a decent coach gun or something like that. That could be a good weapon too. Maybe we do go coach gun. We are specced into to... We can also bring a Jacob sniper with us along the way. Yeah, Jacob Sniper, I think. Jacob Shotgun. Can I get this, please? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. And we also, we're going to want to keep this slag out here as well. So. We should be fine with what we got now. I got to, I think I'm trying, I think I'm going to be rethinking how I feel or what I think about slag, I think. And how I should be functioning it, at least in my inventory, to make more sense. And that is to... I don't know why I took that other grenade. That is to use it as a boss shredder instead. So, like, I'm going to be fighting. I don't need to slag up everything, but if I see someone... Oh, I need to ding them. Scroll down. Scroll back up to go to back to my original scheduled maintenance. Uh, That could be a really good relic as well. I wish Vladoff made shotguns. Could you imagine if Vladoff made shotguns?
Okay, let's see. Sticky homing and sender singularity. Yeah, lob shock singularity has that Jean Saqua. So I again when I started the video, I said that I wanted to talk about to talk about zero and the one thing that I think that can really bring him down is being swarmed and not being able to hit crits. That's the only thing. Um, besides that, like he really does pop off. Oh, maybe not. And you also have to be accurate. That's another big part of it too. Oh my gosh, this rabbit skag is going to end my life. Like I said, getting swarmed, not so fun. I'm just going to take the free damage while I can. Oh my gosh, he's so fast. He's so fast. Take some, take, kill, do some damage to him while he's here. Don't even worry about going for credits, bro. Don't even worry about it. There you go. He's gone. Good stuff. Slice. See ya. Slice. Slice. You hit me, I hit you, brother. Simple as that. Oh, I got, I got shotguns for these guys. Come on. Go down. Dang it. Can't hit them. They fly too well. They fly high in the sky. Alright. I don't know how I'm going to end up killing that um, ultimate badass one that's going to spawn. But I'm going to try my best. Take that. Always run this. I need to get to Kunai as fast as possible. I think it's required. Rabbit Skag, please don't, bro. Dang it. Dude, if he if he puts me down here, I, I could very possibly just die. He's gonna do it too. Holy. Right, we gotta get a slag off into a bandit launcher. It's the only shot here. Yeah, we got him. Oh, we seem to be okay. Back to the coach gun. Let's go for some kills. Some easy ones. Without rabbit skags around, it becomes a lot easier. 11 out of 15, we're doing well. And we, if, if we kill these racks, we don't have to actually fight the ultimate badass. We don't have to kill him, 100%. But I can't seem to hit a shot on those racks at all. He's coming. Gotta start getting accurate. things are not targeting me so it's really hard to hit them oh I'm gonna whiff that's not I swear that's not me there's some damage no they stole my kill did they okay 14 only one more kill needed let's target one of these smaller pups there we go bum bottom bum no, no need to even take kill that guy. I should have maybe checked to see if there was more like loot enemies, but did I already get the vault symbol back there? I did. It's like the rabbit skag swarmed me now. I'm not even sure if I got to see what it was. Let's see, shield recharge rate and melee damage. Hmm, maybe not shield recharge rate. We could go this bandit shotgun. This bandit shotgun could definitely be doing something good for us. Straight sweeper because I have this. Oh, I don't have it. That was last run. I keep thinking the wrong things. Coach going back. All right, let's farm this stage. I didn't have. I don't know why I jumped off that. Let's go. Get up there. No. Okay, sick. If I were to rank zero out of all the Vault Hunters, I, I honestly, at least in Rogue Lance, because that's like what I know best at this point, I would say top three. To me, he feels definitely top three. I, if I put, if I put, I mean, I don't want to put Axe to number one, but I feel like Gage is really good. Uh, Sal's was getting better. Maybe Zero is third. And I maybe put Axon four. Because Axon really is gear dependent.
Griggs at the bottom. We know that. We know exactly where Krieg's at, at the very, very bottom. Worst character. That's yeah, not on me. Most fun character, probably, but worst character, absolutely. Let's decoy out right here and just start going for one shots with our Jacob shotgun. There we go. You can also shoot buckets, but you gotta play this slow. Zero is more of a 1v1 kind of character. Let's go. Got you, homie. Later, kid. I'm going to get you. Oh. Yeah, blow up over there, homie, would you? Thank you. We roll out. Okay. Up here. What, what do you want? See ya. This, this Jacob shotgun strat is insane. Later. Dude, now I haven't even been using my counter strikes. I could be... One shot in kids with those. Oh, messed up. Oh, ironclad loot, loot, lunatic, whatever. Did that guy run away from me behind me? That's not good. He's right there. Oh, you should not have showed yourself, homie. You should not have showed yourself. It takes time to get a reload off. I think it's more important than the shot. And I get the shot off anyway. Huge. Legendary sniper class mod. Um. Do I have a decent sniper I can use right now? Against this ironclad lunatic, I do. Let's drop it down. The crit damage applies to all guns, though. It's pretty good. Stop aiming at me, homie. I got bigger fish to fry. I got bigger fish to fry. Later. Oh, yeah, that's good. Hit that crit. Hit that crit. Hit a crit, brother. Hit a crit. No. Okay, scroll up to the bandit. Bandit's doing good work for us. Deception out. Jacob's. Good. Okay, he's on me now. He's gone. Let's go. I don't have a shot on him from this angle. That's not good. Gotta get to a place where I can see. Oh, I can actually... I can I can wait and take my shot. Okay, let's see. Deception out. Oh, that's not good. You just hid? Not good. I didn't even get a crit off. No crit there. No crit there. Okay, there we go. Oh, I have some, it's semi-auto. Okay, I can just rinse him with a uh, semi-automatic fire. Toss that. Don't get hit by his shotgun. Should let's just use a bandit here. Two. One. Use that. Okay, run away for just for a second. The shield seems to be recharging rather quickly, if you let it. Toss that. Jacob Sniper. Make sure we line up that nice crit. Another one. There we go. Again, it's not going to be the... Sometimes it's not the prettiest. Oh, Magic Missile, let's go. Sometimes it's not the prettiest, but... If you do, if you're disciplined and you do land those crits, it does pop off. Very sick. Some automatic ones are nice. Okay. So this this sniper damage one, I mean, it has a bunch of skills that I don't have points into right now. So we can respec. Maybe I should have respect way earlier. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I hit that button. That's okay. Landing crits on the turkey. Is that going to be possible? We can try. You can definitely try. Let's do it. It'll be fun. Yeah, 
and hip fire is good. <laughs> That's a horrible respec. Holy. A lot of wasted points on that one. Okay. Four. One shot, one kill. I kind of like kill confirmed. Take one point in it. What can I hurt? And let's see. These two have anti synergy. Just saying. But we take it. Sick. Okay, we got magic missiles as well. Make sure our bandit is fully reloaded. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to be primarily looking for decoy uh, kills, decoy shots. Miss my crit. That is okay. Go for that neck, brother. Go for that neck. Stay focused on it. The damage will come. You don't have to check. Don't even look at the health bar. You don't have to check it. You know it's there. Stay focused on hitting that neck. Interesting attack. Don't reload. Don't reload. Just go for the crit. Nice shot, brother. Alright. Running away. Okay, you're gone. Oh, that's an egg attack coming in. And we want to stay away from the pack. That's We don't want to stay away from the pack. Pack is very dangerous. No crit. Keep trying, though. Keep trying. No. Yes, let's go. Uh, overcompensator could be a really nice shotgun for us to use um, to replace our our current Hyperion shotgun. All right, Singularity. I think I have one already. A Flying Fox. Very interesting weapon. Interesting. Um, I think I have a Singularity already if I need it. I do. I got a couple. What's what's the fuse times on these bad Larrys? 0.6 on that. That's going to be hard to beat. Yeah, if you don't. All right, what do we got of this? An Orphan Maker. Very high damage weapon. A little bit nervous about using it. Um, We could go Rough Rider... A kitten? Skyrocket? What if we went... What if we did go... Rough Rider? I don't have enough healing. This is the problem. But getting increased... Gun damage? And fire rate? Could be sick. Either way, let's do... Let's max out our tree here. I want to get that really nice, that really nice one shot stuff. Critical sentience is bad, I feel like. Aim better at the hip sounds good too. It's like, that's like, this is our, it's our mobbing, mobbing and bossing skills. It feels like to me. But we're not going to run the Rough Rider for now. Okay. 1340, not gonna go it. And a skyrocket, not gonna go it. To put puts me at too much risk. Uh, let's pull from the box. Legendary hunter, legendary hunter. Maybe not. I kinda wanna go sniper, it's the only thing. Mm, I think mine's just doing so well for me. I'll try it. I don't want to be. I don't want to be trying too much. But I, I could use the Mongol to like you know boost up a bunch of damage. Okay, I think that'll be good enough. Let's go fight a raid boss. Oh, Terramorphous. Okay. We can do this. Magic Missile is not going to be worth. I want Transfusion. Transfusion. 2.7 second Transfusion is tough. But 
hopefully we can make up for that. Is there anything here that is going to help us? Not really. I mean, we could, we could try to one-shot him with the Mongol. Should we try? I think it's, I think it's going to be worth trying. We can always reach back after. Let's try it. Legendary Hunter class mod. Does any of these give me ambush? Oh, this gives me plus six ambush. Let's take it. Let's reach back and try. I'm going to be running out of money soon. No, I sh I'm fine. Okay. Take this one. Ambush is all we need. Now, I want to get kunai. I can, I can throw a grenade if I can't get down to kunai. Crit damage is fine. This is all fine. What we really need is one shot, one kill. Uh, I can't get death mark though. Hmm. At this point, it's just velocity, I think. Okay, let's try it. We're gonna go for the Mongol one shot. Let's pray that this works. We're going to go for a magic missile as well. I blew the horn. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. I think I summoned him. Yeah, he's, he's here. He's pissed. Okay, we got this. All right, go into deception that way. Run this way. Got some magic missile. Wait for it to explode. Fire. Okay, that's not horrible. Not that great either. Let's try again, though. See if we can do it a little bit better this time. I have deception for this part. We have an amp shield. No, I got a Rough Rider. Right, deception that way. Throw a magic missile a little bit earlier this time. Maybe throw two. Let's do ensure. And then fire. Okay, that's okay damage. We're burning up all of our all of our ammo here doing it. Oh yeah, now we're in trouble. Now we are in trouble. Open up this. We need a transfusion ASAP. We need a legendary hunter class mod. And we need a respec. Insufficient funds. Insufficient funds. Okay. No. Okay, okay. Focus up. Focus up. No. Please come back. Uh, Terramorphous ends me. I tried too... I tried too hard for the one shot. Hey. And sometimes that can happen. <laughs> it's worth going for it. You never know. Stack up everything. But maybe... Maybe without kunai. It was a... Uh, I really thought one shot, one kill was going to be more important. That's right. GG.